So, who are you and what are you doing? Great, my name is Jeff Ohm. I work with uh, John Virtual Reality. I'm based out of Santa Monica. We have uh, five offices. Um, Santa Monica, Palo Alto, Shanghai, uh, Amsterdam, and London. Um, what I have here is a John 1 uh, virtual reality system. It has 24 cameras. Um, the recording media is the um, SSD card. Um, you'll see I'm going to pull one out here. And then you'll notice that the uh, camera flashes. So the camera is very intelligent. It knows that it's uh, missing a card. Um, so basically the workflow is, is uh, we record on the SSD cards. We um, pull the SSD cards out at the end of the day. And then we'll take them and we'll put them into our um, jaunt, uh, our jaunt media manager software. So in here we hook everything up uh, with USB cards. We would um, put them on a um, store them on a drive, and then we'd up upload them to the uh, up them to the cloud using the uh, import tools. We also support the um, Nokia Ozo uh, camera. So once we have everything imported up into the cloud, it's going to do a um, virtual stitch. So the, um, the stitching process uh, basically happens um, up there. This is our camera control software, so I'll go back a little bit. Um, we can actually hit, uh, hit record uh, from here. Uh, so everything goes into record mode. Um, there's also a one, um, one button start and stop system. Uh, the cameras all have uh, mobile shutters and are all frame accurate um, stop starts. Um, so one of the things with our um, uh, camera control system is we can uh, we go and we can do a, a capture preview. So we'll go in and that shows the uh, 24 camera um, setup. So we're going to go and it's going to capture uh, a single frame and then it'll actually stitch it um, right here on the computer to give you a, a preview of what uh, what's happening. So all 24 cameras just showed up there and um, you can see you know we're right here and now it's actually going to go through and do a little bit of a stitch. So in the field what you basically see is that we got really close to the image. You can see that our sign here um, uh, was also a little close. Normally I try and keep things about uh, one, to, uh, one to one and a half meters um, away um, for, to solve for the, uh, the parallax uh, part of it. So this stitch, um, the pre preview stitch, is emulated up on the cloud with the footage um, that's uploaded up there. So once you're done with the um, once you're done with the preview stitch, then you go and um, and you're able to uh, download that and edit in Final Cut or your um, whatever software you're using. Um, Final Cut, Premiere. Um, and use, you can use After Effects for titles and things like that. Uh, and then uh, what you do is download, once you have an EDL you, or an XML, you import that into the software and then it's able to go and stitch the high-res material. Uh, then you take the stitched high-res material, download that, and relink the media to the uh, low-res uh, temporary stitches. Then at that point, yeah, so it's basically a reconform. Then you add your titles. Um, you put a maybe put a floor logo um, over the uh, camera bottom. Um, add beginning and end titles, and then you're able to take it into the uh, uh, John Cloud uh, Media Services. With the John Cloud Media Services, you're actually able to make uh, PlayStation 2, uh, HTC Vive, um, put it into the Oculus Store. Uh, put it to Facebook 360 or YouTube uh, 360. So it's actually it's a complete um, system. You have the uh, the jump camera system with the camera cards, eight times power um, battery, um, the uh, media um, media system uh, here, uh, a cloud-based stitching system, and a uh, jump media services uh, to deliver all your deliverables. So it basically has everything that you need for a, a complete um, 360 stereo uh, production. Thank you for your time. Cool, cheers. Maybe in terms of file size, how big are the files that are being generated? Okay. And the rendering files? Yep. So the file size for the cameras, um, the cameras are each individual uh, 1920 by 1200. Um, the uh, stitches can be 4K or 8K. So it'll be um, 36 by 40. Um, or uh, 
1920 by, uh, if you're doing mono, it'll be uh, 38 by 40 by 1920. If you're doing stereo, it'll be 38 40 by 38 40. You can also um, double that and go to um, 8K if, uh, if you so desire. And the, uh, the camera is capable of both those, uh, both those file sizes. It's just a matter of, um, of how you stitch it. Um, and then the final outputs that come out of it, um, you know, once it's stitched, is um, is a ProRes file. So that's basically bringing ProRes into your edit system uh, and add your graphics and, and go from there. And talking about the sound, how is the sound captured, and what is the output format for the sound? Uh, sound is recorded on a, a separate SD card on a Tascam uh, recorder, and it's ambisonic uh, sound. So it's four-channel ambisonic. Um, you also would normally use a, a sound person record with a lavalier, uh, which would also go to um, the card. The cloud, uh, you, the card goes up to um, the cloud also, so all your data uh, can be on the cloud. And then you normally sync it. Um, the, these cameras will have um, each will have an individual um, audio file, but you'll normally use the Amazonic file and your lavalier um, file that you'll sync in your um, in your edit package. Great, thank you. Thank you very much.